Hi, in this video, we're going to transform a cube from one position and rotation to another position and rotation. So step one, I'm just going to add a plane. And to that plane, I'm going to add a texture. Okay. Then step two, I'm going to add the cube. Here's a cube. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, a sub cube. So to that cube, I'm going to add a child object, a cube. And the reason I'm going to do this is so that we could tell which way the cube's pointing. So let me just add a child cube, and I'm just going to position it over here in front of it kind of like a nose. Okay, so this cube is going to be um, what we're going to move. And in order for us to say where we're going to move it to, I'm just going to make another, I'm going to duplicate that cube. And on the duplicate, I'm going to move it to where I want it to go in the end of the transformation. This is going to be my target cube, which I'm just going to move right here, pointing at me. So I'll call this one cube target. Click on the word. And the first one I'll call it cube mover. This is the one that's going to move to the target. And uh, I could place the mover anywhere in the scene. And what's going to do is the code's going to calculate the script that we're going to write. We'll just move it toward the target and they'll also right, rotate it the same direction as a target. So there, I'm just giving it a random location and rotation there. Okay, so we got the plane, we got two cubes. Now we're gonna have to add a script to the cube mover. So with cube mover selected, I go to add component and new script, and I'm gonna call it cube mover, enter. Okay, then I'm going to double click on cube mover to edit the script. As soon as this hourglass stops spinning, okay, I'm going to click on cube mover to edit the cube mover script. And here, what I want you to type in is this. And I'll give you a second to look at it and type it. Okay, so um, from the user, I'm going to make a transform time. That's how long the transform is going to take to move from to move to that target cube's position. And that's in seconds. And it's public, so the user in Unity could edit it. And then also public is the target, the target object. And the target object is going to tell us where to move and the rotation to move to. And that's public too. Then some internal private variables are move speed and rotation speed. So when the script starts, it's going to calculate what the move, the move speed will be to move um, the distance between, you know, point A to point B over transform time. And then the rotation speed is going to be the distance in angles, the distance between rotations divided by transform time. And the update function, every time update's called, once per frame, the, um, the position of our cube is going to move slowly toward the target position. And how slowly is the move speed? And the rotation of our mover cube is going to slowly turn to the rotation of the target cube over time. And that's how fast over time the road speed. So I'm going to save the script. I'm going to go back to Unity and looking over here at the script, you're going to see we're going to have the two um, variables to put in as soon as the script processes here. There you go. So the transform time, you see by default it has a two because that's what I set in the script, it's the default. And for target, like what I'm going to move this cube to, I'm just going to drag and drop this object 
as the object I want it to move toward. Okay, so in two seconds, this cube should go from this position in rotation to this position in rotation. I'm going to press play. So watch, it's going to switch to the game, game view here. And it moves. I forgot to do something. I was going to adjust the camera so we could see it in the same view as here, along with view. Let me try it one more time. And there it goes. That was a two second transform. Now, just to show you, now that I have Cube Mover operating and it has a script, I could duplicate the Cube Mover and I could make a bunch of different cubes in the scene. They could all be positioned and rotated differently. That one there. Maybe I'll duplicate again and make another one. Mm -hmm. um. So, I could have like three of them just randomly move and rotate them. Okay. And each one has its own copy of the script. So the first one was this one over here, and it transforms in two seconds. The second one is back here. I'll have that one transform in 2.5 seconds. And this other one up here, why don't we just give it a different time, transform in, I don't know, one second. Okay. So if I press play now, I got three of them that are going to move. All of them have different transform time. And boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. There you go.